Hello everyone, this is for a Toyota 3.0 3VZE, how to remove the charcoal canister. I will show you guys what to remove and what's needed. This is the charcoal canister. There's one vacuum line. There's another line that goes here. We'll talk about that in a bit. And then there's one line that goes on the bottom. And this is just a drain line. It just goes to the passenger side of your chassis. That's it. You'll go ahead and remove these two bolts, 10 mil. 10 mil the canister will come off and then this back plate here is held by three bolts let's move on to the engine bay and i'll show you guys the rest these three triangle bolts are what hold this canister to the firewall you can go ahead and remove it and you can put these bolts back in or you can leave them out so the canister sits like that and then for this line here this is the fuel vapor return line from the gas tank this hard line that comes into a hose and it goes like that so this would go right here this vacuum line goes on the back and just go ahead and follow it if you guys are looking at your truck it goes to the back and there's a little there's a little uh sensor over here and you can just unplug it and then cap it and that's all that's needed so what you need to do now is this is the fuel vapor line and all you got to do is extend this line and just run it down just i need to just run it down and just let it zip tie right here and just let it hang that's all you have to do so you can just take this to your auto parts store and get like a three foot hose and that's all you have to do you just extend it and just let it hang down towards the firewall and that's all it is really you don't have to do too much that's pretty much all for the charcoal canister now i would recommend you run it like that for a while and see if your truck has an issue but on my previous truck i re removed the canister and i never had any issues and i also didn't even plug the um the piece where this vacuum line goes to so it's really easy once you get the charcoal canister removed you'll have way more room on your passenger side and also, if you want to clean up the passenger side, you can go ahead and remove the ADD for the front diff and also the EGR delete. You can do that as well. And I have those videos on my channel. So you you can go ahead and search those up or I'll put the link in the description. But that's pretty much it. Quick and easy way to remove the charcoal canister and you make a lot of room. I do recommend you guys keep these brackets because you might need them in the future. You can always use these brackets to mount like a accessories and other stuff if you wanted to so depends on what you want to do or you can just throw the whole thing away or you can just seal it but that's pretty much it for the charcoal canister delete on the toyota 3.03 vze really really simple if you guys got any questions let me know in the comment section below